What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shy Shy Rizay Bike Podcast, episode 82. We got a special guest in the building. Uh R&B artist, right? R and B. You just call yourself an artist. I'm kinda, I'm <laughs> iffy about yeah, it. Yeah, I, yeah. I kinda wanna do some some more hype music and stuff because sure. you know my life not all that sad, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also she a uh, CEO of a uh, Chronicle Clothing, right? Chronicle Clothing. Yeah, she got the clothes uh, uh it's the homie Ken's, what's up? What's the word? Everything good with you? <laughs> of course, everything. I got to salute you. You was on time. <laughs> like, man, people be disrespecting my time, man. I was happy you came on time. I was a little nervous. I ain't gonna lie. Had a little no, doubt. A little doubt. No. <laughs> I was. I grew up, uh, like, in marching band. And yeah. so, like, they was like, if you, you late, you yeah. you early, you late. Mm-hmm. You better be here early, early. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So, speaking of salutes, that's how we start every show off with. Salute me while I'm here. A lot of times people wait for, you know, people to pass away and give them their flowers mm-hmm. instead of doing it while he's still here. But the only the only thing is you can't do mom, dad, brother, sister. I know you ain't got no kids. <laughs> so <laughs> I do got a kid. Oh, yeah. My little baby Lulu. So it got to be somebody outside of that, you know what I'm saying, that you got to salute and give them their flowers while you can still smell them. Honestly, my best friend Cam, he All do, right. he like... He really my best friend. We haven't been knowing each other for that long. Yeah. But he really is my best friend. For sure. He right here too, see? What's up, Cam? <laughs> like... So I, yeah, go ahead. Go, go ahead. No, just go ahead. You done, with your, you done with his flowers? It was just like, Cam, that's it, huh? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> only one. Now, you know, usually it'd be like, you can't get friends once you get older. You know what I'm saying? The only time you get friends is when you grow up with somebody. So what made him, like, you know what I'm saying, become that, that friend real real early in general? Um... We worked at Walmart, yeah. and I was just like, I'm a real nice person, and he didn't have no ride to ride to the hump, to the crib. <laughs> yeah, so I'm yeah. like, yeah, I'll take you to the crib. Like, of course. Yeah, and then sure. going, doing it so often, we just talked, and we just like, oh, let's hang out. Mm-hmm. We hang out, start hanging out almost every single day. Like, yeah. we together almost every day. That's what's up, man. Shout out to uh, shout out to Cam in the building. John. He back in the lobby and shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn, I ain't got nobody to salute, bro. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm going to salute uh, uh, the homie Monk. He be on the Wake and Bake show. He part of the team. He has 10-year uh, anniversary, him and his wife or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So through thick and thin, arguments and all that good stuff, and happy times, kids, and everything else, they, uh, you know what I'm saying, they made it through. It's 10 mm-hmm. years. So salute to my dog Monk, man. What up, though? So uh, let's talk about you, though. We don't get right into the music. Okay. We, we get into your growing up. So how was it? Where you from? East, West, suburbs, um, who in the crib, all that good stuff. I grew up with my mom and my real dad only for about a couple years. My dad left me, mm-hmm. uh, kind of bounced back from the east side to the west side from mom and dad. Yeah. Um, what else? What else? Who in the crib? You got, you got siblings? I got siblings. I got two brothers, yeah. two biological brothers, and I got a, a stepsister from my uh, stepdad. Okay. Older, younger? I'm the oldest biologically. Okay. All right. So, all right. So you, uh, you, you big dog. Big dog around here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They all talk. They damn near taller than me now. My brother thirteen, yeah. five three, or yeah. no, six three. Damn. <laughs> See, I be mad. I'm off. I'm five eight. I'm stuck <laughs> in this little ass height. I'm, sm- <laughs> I'm extra small because I coach basketball and all the kids being them uh, towering over me like, damn, these this that's just kind of messed yeah. up. Yeah. So you say you got some siblings. So how was you in school? Like talk talk about that. How was you? I was as- a goody goody in school. I ain't getting no trouble. No trouble at all. Huh? None. No no fights. No nothing. No, no I don't no, fight. I'm <laughs> no too skipping. Pretty to fight. No skipping. And my senior year, I yeah. didn't go to school. Yeah, 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 <laughs> but that yeah. was it. That's like typical for seniors. You just don't sure. go to school. Oh no, yeah, yeah. It's almost that time to go. Yeah, so like talk, talk about uh, like how was you as a uh, 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 a student at, a student and an athlete? Cause I know I I saw some pictures that you. you oh know yeah, what I'm I played soccer. Uh, I've been playing soccer since I was three years old. Mm-hmm. That was. Mostly, this is my life. Like when I was growing up, I'm like, oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a soccer player. Like yeah. it was nothing, music, none yeah. of that. I, just, I knew I could sing, yeah, but yeah. it was like I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Yeah, yeah. What? Were you nervous or you? Was I like... I don't know. I just I fell in love with soccer. It was just like the only thing I really did know. Uh huh. So that was only sport. Um, I played volleyball. I did track. I did like bubble around and yeah. did other stuff, but it was just like soccer was that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you say yeah, that was something you wanted to, you say you wanted to be there when you get got older. I did. I did. What changed? Corona. Yeah. <laughs> changed everything, huh? I couldn't, um, I couldn't, I wasn't as like, oh, let me go work out. When the corona hit, I was like, yeah. I don't want to work out right now. Just like, chilling. Just, just chilling. And yeah. then I got, uh, this guy should just write in music and yeah. was like, Oh, I need to explore this side of myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. And for then sure. I got writing, I got singing, and I was like, This is something I really, really do want to do. Like, yeah, yeah. 
I should have yeah. been doing this. Yeah, but. for sure. Now go back. You you said you got to writing and singing. Usually we got musical influences from our parents and stuff. We like we you know saying mm-hmm. what they what they what they play is what we typically like. So what was some stuff you was liking just off your off your mom or your dad whatever what they was my playing. My mom and my dad don't know nothing about music. <laughs> 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 my Man. mom. Like she knows like Erica Badu and she knows like she knows musical artists but like yeah. when it comes to this I'm by myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like my mom she be like, Okay, you got like I was a mom, let me go get can I I need four hundred for studio time. Yeah, damn, mom's got money. for studio time. What you mean? <laughs> yeah. I mean, what? Yeah. Like, yeah. she don't know none of this. Yeah, for sure. So, so who would you get, like, your music taste from? Like, was anybody around? Like, you know what I'm saying? Homies? I or? did. I played the trumpet. Okay. So, uh, like, all them people, they're all musical. And some of them do sing. Yeah. I know my friend Dimitri, he sings yeah. too. Okay. And so he was like, you need, he was kind of helping me with my voice. Yeah. I haven't never, I never took like lessons and stuff, but he yeah. was like giving me tips and stuff, and mm. that's just it. Yeah, 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 all of this, sure. like, oh, you gotta pay for studio time, pay for mixing and mastering, yeah. all that. I had to learn myself, like, yeah. I was just on Google, like, what is mixing and mastering? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> Heck, you know, so what, what about I say? So, uh, with that, when you started getting your own ear and junk and start, you know, saying rocking out with different artists, who was your uh, go to people? I my favorite artist right now is Giveon. Okay, yeah, she yeah, dope, dope, dope. Uh, after that it's like Tiana Taylor, yeah. Kaylani, her. Yeah, people be her, her is super dope. Like her, uh, you her uh, Cleo Soul. I. You gotta get don't help. Know. You, you look, you look like unfamiliarity <laughs> in your face. So yeah, you gotta get. When you get out of here, type in Cleo Soul and listen to her first album came out last year, mm-hmm. and she had a new one that came out this Friday. If okay. you like her and all them, you would like her too then. Okay, bad. Yeah. So you say her, you say uh Kalani. What about some old school? Erica Badu, a lot of people tell me that I, that I remind me I remind her. Mine you know Mine. what I'm trying yeah. to say. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So you be doing the sage and all that junk? But like that's because the way I dress mm-hmm. and the way like how I act and stuff be Yeah, yeah. you got your Erica own little Badu. your own little swag and junk. Who else? It's what about rap? You don't, you, don't, you don't mess with the rap? I press with rap like Sada Baby and I listen with like more <laughs> Detroit rap yeah, rather than else? like mainstream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you, on radio. now you, you 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 kind of young. What you like, 20? Yeah, I just so turned you, 20 June 16. Oh, June, oh, yeah, you a Gemini then. Okay, that's what's <laughs> up. I'm, I'm the last day, June 21st. You, you crazy? Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> usually I say Gemini's be having those, you know what I'm saying? One minute be cool. I mean, I mean but like, it's like, if we talking and you say some real slick stuff, yeah. I'm gonna be like, "What you, you mean?" Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna turn up on you, but yeah, for sure. <laughs> my now, other side might come out. Yeah, all the time, all the time. We, and shit, he Gemini. You know, what I'm saying we all got those. My you know. dog is Gemini too. <laughs> <laughs> well, she chilling right now. Is she or he? It's a she. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we got this first time we had a dog on you. Put give her camera time. Mm-hmm. Shit, first time we had a goddamn uh, dog on the show, or whatever. Look. <laughs> she went all the way to Oregon to get this dog. So for real. you know, what I'm saying she dedicated. <laughs> Now, uh, you just graduated high school not too long ago. Mm-hmm. So just talk about like how it is as a, you know what I'm saying? I graduated a long time ago, like 2004. <laughs> like it feels like forever. It's been a while. Damn, it's been a while. But how was like those four years? Did it go by fast? Like what do you miss the most about uh, about high school? Um, I miss not having to pay. I miss not being grown. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Like waking up in the morning at 5 a.m. I wish yeah. I could just go to school. Yeah, for sure. You, but you don't know that though until you get out. Yes, yeah. I was like, but in high school, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait till I'm old. I can't wait. I can't wait. No. Yeah, that's how it be. I need my naps. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. What's your best high school moment? Um, dancing. Mm-hmm. Uh, everyone knew me from dancing. Like every yeah. pep rally, every like event. Mackenzie is our dancer for the yeah. for the year. Twenty nineteen. Sure. That's us. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you went to uh, you went to Belleville. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying that's out in the suburbs. Did you ever feel like you was an outsider, like because you didn't go to Detroit Public School and you was out in the, in the suburbs, or did you ever like, back damn, I wish I want to see ideas to go to Detroit Public School. I wanted to go to Detroit to Cast Tech okay. because of soccer. You like a Cast Tech person. <laughs> like, for real, like you like somebody who belongs in Cast Tech, man. <laughs> That's what a lot of people say. But and, I mean, not really. Yeah. I mean, I grew up with people I grew up with. I've messed with them. For I sure. mean, we still kind of all talk and everything. Yeah. So, now, was you like Belleville? Was that like a, uh, was it mixed like black, white, mostly white? Like, how was it? At first, it was like mostly white people. But when yeah. we're growing up, yeah. it was just like, yeah, this is cool. Almost yeah, it's ghetto. Yeah, yeah. We had fights almost every month. For real? 
<laughs> well, now was it, did you always go to like suburban schools? Yeah, I grew up in, Bel- in Van Buren school. Oh, so you always kind of used to it. Like you, you was used to like hanging around different kids other than you know what I'm saying black kids or whatever. Yeah, like after my dad left, my um, my mama, we just moved down in the suburbs and was just like yeah. Just yeah. far away from him. No. So. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna get on that. We gonna get on that a little later. I got something for that one. <laughs> but no, with me, see, it's different with me. I went to hood schools all my life. Mm-hmm. Then all of a sudden, I had to go to a white school in ninth grade, and I cried my first day of school. Cause I never seen any white people. Oh in my yeah. Life. Yeah. So I'm like, what that's the how hell? it is with soccer, though. Yeah. I'd be the only black person on the field. Yeah. And now, I'd be like, well, now, dang. Have you ever, have anybody ever been racist towards you, like being only black oh, person? Oh, on the field. Yeah. I don't got enough. The only time I really do get in fights is on the field. I don't fought like a forty year old man, like, like. Talk yeah, about that. Like, that mama, like, okay, so it's our senior year, yeah. and we win in like seven zip. Yeah. And I, I, me, I'm an aggressive soccer player. Like, For sure. I slide tackle, I bump, I do yeah. everything. Yeah, 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 and this little white girl, she was a little skinnier than me, <laughs> but. It's soccer. I'm going to bump you. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, for sure. I bumped her. She's like, you nigger. Yeah. Oh, oh. damn. <laughs> oh, now you messed up. Yeah. So after that, I had, I sli- I, I did a slide tackle. Yeah. And I, I hit her ankle and I did it on purpose. Yeah, her for dad, sure. Her dad, to. like, you need to take that out the field. She, she called you, he called you a nigger too? Yeah. Oh, damn. And my Hell mom, my, here go my mama in the field like, ref. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. If you ain't going to get this together, yeah, we going to get this together. Yeah, for sure. And that's what happened. I went, and then he kept talking. He kept talking. I went in the stands, and I punched that nigga in his face. <laughs> Hell no. He was in heaven. Mads in the palace. And, and then, uh, I, I, didn't get, I only got suspended for one day. Hey, you shouldn't have got that, but they probably like, we got to do something. We, yeah. yeah. We got to do something. But she got expelled yeah. from her school. The dad was like, they can't come back. Yeah. Hell yeah. What school they went to, man? Racist ass school. Uh, I, don't even, <laughs> I don't even remember. Oh. <laughs> like, man. I, Wish I did, but it was like it's like thirty minutes away from yeah. white town. Yeah, that's how I be though. But that's the messed up thing about uh, you know what I'm saying, white people, they be feeling like, all right, as soon as they, they get mad, they can't just talk shit. They gotta you know what I'm saying, yeah, call you a nigga. They feel entitled <coughs> to something. No. Yeah. This is 20, my... 20, 2019. Yeah, yeah. Cause in my school, that's how I was. I was playing I didn't wanna play I didn't wanna play soccer. Mm-hmm. And then the white boy was like, only thing you black motherfuckers wanna do is only thing you niggas wanna do is play basketball and football. So I smack them. Uh-huh. That was it. That's it. that was it. That was it. I get that all the time. Yeah. Like you, you're not even supposed to be playing this sport. You need to go play basketball. Like yeah, nah. Yeah, I play this sport and fuck all y'all up. Hell yeah, for sure. <laughs> Hell yeah. Then you in the crowd. And just, that's that Gemini came in. Like you know yeah. what I'm saying? Start Real fast. Raging on their ass. <laughs> that's funny as hell. <laughs> so shit. You say you got to the music early. Like as far as like you know you can sing. But you know at what age did you want to be like? All right, this is some shit I want to tap into as far as the it artist. Was like this year. This year. This year was the first year I was like, stop playing around. Yeah. You know you got a voice on you. For sure. Use it. Yeah. Now, now was it Corona? Was it because of that, that you started doing music? Like, you was at the crib board? It, I was already kind of already getting into it. Mm. But it was like, it's 2021. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. That's... And if you're not playing soccer no more, what are you going to do with your life? So you completely done with the, with the soccer thing? I want, I'm want. i going to still coach, yeah. and I'm going to still play, like, here and there. Yeah. I ain't officially done with it. Yeah, I can't yeah, leave yeah. it that fast. Yeah, now, if you had a choice, if somebody came with you, you got this soccer shit, you can play professional soccer, or you got this record deal. I'm going to go with the record deal. All right, for sure. That's what's I up. will. Yeah, all those years of loving soccer from three years old, you like... I'm going to go, but at the same... Because I know I don't want to go professional right now, because yeah. that's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and I ain't got that in yeah, no say, more. You don't put that work in? You don't put that work in? I go to the gym like once a month now. After mm-hmm. going like at five o'clock in the morning every single day, I go like once a month. But yeah. I'm gonna start going again. For sure. Now talk about cause like it's it's for us when Corona hit and stuff, the virus hit, we old. So you know, we at the crib, like some got family, some got we got kids, we you know what I'm saying, we chilling. Uh-huh. How was it for you like being a, a young adult, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got no kids, it's just you. Like, how was it for you doing that, that virus? Like, you were staying with it moms? Was, like, she was, she told you don't leave nowhere or if you do get out the I house? I mean, at first she was like, no, nah, don't go, don't go. Yeah, like, yeah, people yeah. dying and stuff. But then it got to the point where, like, we need to. Yeah. And so I would just take my brothers out to the park. It was just, like, not going nowhere for real, for real. But yeah, just yeah. going to the park and just playing basketball and football yeah. with my brothers. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So would you uh would you still like would you like all right man, I'm I'm over this. I'm out here partying now. I'm acting a fool like <laughs> I feel like when I I don't really party that much. Like yeah. I do. Yeah. But like I'd rather stay at the crib and write music than yeah. 
and work on like my business and stuff then sure. we go party yeah my daughter eight months so when she get older she's gonna watch this interview so i can tell her how to be a lady like don't be out here in these streets man <laughs> do it i mean like do what you need to do have fun like i'm still young but yeah. understand like when you get older you're gonna be like dang i should have yeah. I should have really did tap down in my business or whatever sure. I really needed to do. Hell yeah! Now uh, with the music stuff, you just did it. You said uh, this year, right? Mm -hmm. that, well, yeah, this year. Who the first person you told like I want to do this music shit? My mama. And what she say? As far as she that? was like, okay. Yeah. So she do she help you as far as like? She try. She yeah. try as much. As she she to be like, just tell me what you need. I don't know what you need. Just like let me know. Mm. And she she she'll try. Do she give you input like as far as like how your music sound? Yeah, she do. She be like, well. She know like how to not sing from the nose and mm -hmm. just sing from like the stomach and stuff. She do that, but mm -hmm. like other than that, yeah. She be like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's up. Or, or she'll tell me straight up like, no, That's don't. What? That's what I say. Who's your 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 biggest critique? Like, who can you go to? Like, how this sound? They gonna be like, hey, that shit trash or that shit My hard. best friend Kim. Okay, you gonna you gonna tell the truth though, though. <laughs> like, you gotta be for real. You can't. If she like, got some he trash. Be like, like if you, uh, you can tell. Like sometimes he be like, yeah. And yeah. I'm like, no, I can't. I mean, no. No, because people are trying <laughs> so, not to hurt your feelings. Like, uh, you know, we cool. I don't want to make her cry. Like, no, I be telling people straight up. Like, listen to my music and tell me what I need to do. Yeah, Cause, yeah. Uh, Cause I don't want to be out here looking stupid. Yeah, because I don't know how to tell people they just trash without. Like, I because I feel like I'm gonna hurt somebody's feelings. So but I, like, when you an artist, you gotta take that. Yeah. You have to. See, I don't want that responsibility to hurt your feelings. Like, <laughs> but you know what? You could do this. <laughs> like, but I, but yeah, but you be needing that junk. Like it's ass, it's trash. Like people yeah. who do podcasts and people who do everything. Like it's always some somebody should be in their ear. Let them know like you need to do this different. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying you're on the right track. Whichever. And when one. I go to the uh, studio, my producer Andrew. Okay. He'll be tell he'll tell me straight up like, no, nah, you was flat. Yeah, for sure. You was a little sharp. You need to do that over and over yeah. again. Andrew, black or white? He black. Okay, cause you don't read me too many black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you read me too many black Andrews. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah. So you 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 spoke on the studio and stuff. Your first time in the studio, how was it? Was how bad or good was it? Cause sometimes I did it could be terrible. Six songs in ten hours Damn. for my first EP. Mm -hmm. So you did your your whole tape in that one session. Well, it was two sessions, but it was two okay. five hour sessions. But it was I, it was hard. Yeah. But I I was writing so much. I had it the music for so long. Mm -hmm. I I knew it already. Yeah, yeah. Like, so you I had to go look at the phone and nothing like that. I mean, I did. Yeah. I did. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, yeah. So Andrew is the dude who like you trust. Do you trust him as far as like being your engineer, or whatever? Like, yeah. And he, well, we still we on the same level. Okay, like, he young too. He uh, he younger than me. He nineteen. Oh, that's what's up. He, yeah. Going to U of M for music and everything, so we we kind of both helping each other out. Yeah, that's dope. Like y'all can build up together. And yeah, then, yeah, definitely. What's some? So do you go to the studio like every since then? Do you go often or like that was like, the only time I'm. I go to the studio when I'm ready. Yeah. I don't waste no money. Oh, no, you can't. Hell no. Especially when I know the song, I know the song. Yeah. That's when I go to the studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't ever just go in that much just to chill. Like, you never uh, go in there on somebody else's session just to see what, you know what I'm saying, maybe I mean, some when tips. they invite me, yeah. Yeah. But other than that. So I can't. Well, nah. I, well it's early. So what's some things like the few times you've been in the studio, what's some things you need in your studio session? Some water. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's it. No people, no nothing. You want you I want mean, Dolo or you want some people? I go in there? with I go with Cam and I go with Andrew. Okay. I, that's the only. Well, now I'm gonna go with Lulu V. But yeah, them only people I really go with. Okay, for sure. <laughs> you say about to bring a dog in that mother. Like, <laughs> put her on the trash. You about to get some some credits on that boy. For real. So you uh you dropped uh the, the, the ten years. Mhm. Mm How you come? Up, what made you come up with that name? I mean, of course, you know. Uh, most of the songs is basically. About my the only song that's not about my teen years is the mm. intro. Okay. And it's the intro getting into my life because yeah. I just turned twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's you're still just learning. basically. Yeah. yeah. So what? G give me your uh, you got six songs on the project. Mm -hmm. Give me your top two uh songs on there and the why? In, the two, the first two. Those the intro song because it tells every it tells my life. Okay. It tells me I went through depression. T my dad left me. My, yeah. uh, yeah, everything. Mm -hmm. And then over it, that's it's just a single. It's about my ex and okay. yeah, I cheated yeah, on about, me and everything. We about everything. to go all that. Yeah. We about to uh, calm down a little bit. <laughs> you said, you said why? Oh yeah, no, for sure, for sure. I did, I did, I did. Mine's was over it. I like second place though. Mm. That's hard. I like that. I love. I mean, I love all my music, yeah. but it's just the meaning yeah. behind it. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you said depressing. Like outside your dad, like what was some things you was, you was depressed about? 
Um, I lost my grandma. Okay. And she was my best friend. Yeah, for sure. Well, not my my great grandma. My okay. grandma died when I was a baby, but that was my bestie. Yeah. For real. Yeah, so that kind of like messed you up or whatever. Yeah, and it was it was my mama, my mom bestie too. Like she yeah. was always around. Yeah, for sure. And so my mama was depressed, and I'm like, dang. Yeah, you seen mom, so you messed up. Now. Yeah. You double messed up because <laughs> you were, you was already hurting and junk. Yeah. When, uh, how long ago was that? Ah, uh, it was a couple. It was a few years ago. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. That's so sad. I don't remember, Damn. but I really don't. Yeah, did you like yourself was, up? Like, was you, like, being quiet about it? Because a lot of times, black people, like, when people pass away, we don't like to talk about it. I mean, I talked to my family about it. My yeah. friends just, they knew about it, but mm -hmm. I never really talked to them about it. Okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So, that was, like, that was the one major thing as far as, like, that was leading to it? Yeah. So, when you were depressed, like, what, what, talk to me. Like, you was, like, you was, like, how was that? You was, like, secluded? Like, I just really only... The only thing that really made me happy in that moment was soccer. Yeah. So if I wasn't in like school, I'd just yeah. be doing my schoolwork. Like, don't sure. talk to me. Like, yeah. leave me alone. Yeah. And soccer, I was happy. Yeah. Like, that was just my go to. For sure. That's what's up. Now, we got this one junk called Talk About the Bars. Okay. I take a piece of your song <laughs> or, or a bar or whatever, mm -hmm. and we talk about it. We elaborate on it. So, on that, on over, you said conversation. You came out the gate, conversation's uh, boring. You barely even called me. So. I got something to say about that. Like when you when you usually get like that, to me personally, I feel mm -hmm. like when she gets to that point is because when y'all fresh into a relationship, it's too much talking. Mm -hmm. You talk to somebody every second of the goddamn day, like what you doing, where you at, right. how you doing, what you doing, when you going, like <laughs> so. Then get when it gets to a point that the conversation, the text messages, you know, they die down. Mm -hmm. That 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 leads to a relationship dying down because you just used to talking every damn day all day. Right. So. What kind of happened? I went to college. I went yeah. to college in Pittsburgh. Okay. We was cool for like the first couple months. Like, yeah. we still in love. Yeah. After that, it just got weird. Like, he turned his location off. Oh, he... shit. Hold on, y'all had location. Y'all changed location. See, that's the one thing. See, <laughs> can't do that. Can't do that. He turned his location off and he would lie about where he at. Like, he'd be at this girl house for, at, until one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. But that's supposedly his friend. Like, yeah, yeah. But why you lie about it? Now, it was you his friend. Did, so, was you like a wrong old girl? Like, yeah, I was, but yeah. it was like. It, she had did some real messed up stuff. Yeah. And it was like, I don't really trust her. For sure. And I told him that. He was like, well, she's still my friend. I'm like, yeah. well, you shouldn't be around her for yeah. 1 o'clock in the morning. Like, what? Yeah. What she do that was like some messed up stuff? You know? She she was talking about me, like okay. behind my back. Like, oh, she was yeah. like, Mackenzie really can't sing. Like, you Oh, yeah, he's talking shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, and I'm like, that nigga, yeah. See, if he was, oh, yeah, he should be like, yeah, you gotta get out. Yeah. But then, yeah, so it wasn't, you it wasn't a little signs besides that that you like, damn, maybe she won't, she won't my dude, Chad. I'm just I mean, it name. wasn't even. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just gave him chill. Like. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was just the. Uh, like, why why would you want to be around someone's man at 1 o'clock in the morning in the first yeah, place? For sure. Hey, that's how chicks are, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sadly. Yeah. Sadly, yeah. Now, you in Pittsburgh. What school you went to? I went to Point Park University. So, I, you was over here going crazy. Like, you probably wasn't. Freshman. <laughs> I'm, freshman I'm a freshman starter. I, yeah. I started every game. Yeah. Every single game. Mm hmm. And you don't usually get that at yeah, all, for sure. from, especially a black girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that, that messed you. Up. So like, I'm talking about like, because I know with me, when I was with dealing with the, you know, saying before I got married, when I was dealing with uh -huh. the ladies and stuff, I had one chick. I remember one time she went to a club. I didn't like that, but I couldn't change that. Right. And next day I know her phone at three o'clock in the morning was just off. Like damn. See? So you, your mind started racing like <laughs> Yeah like what's going yeah, on You can't sleep You can't eat Like that's how you was, Would you like that Like you just wasn't eating No but like I was doing me Like I had a job yeah. And I was playing soccer And I did school So like I'm up at 5 o'clock in the morning I got yeah. 7 From 7 to 9 o'clock I got practice From sure. 10 to 11 I got class yeah. I got another practice after that I got yeah. another class after that Then I got a Go to work. Mm -hmm. I ain't never had no time. Then here he go pressing me like, "Where you at? Where yeah, you at? Where you sure. at?" Like, yeah. I'm at practice. Yeah. I'm with my coach. I'm with my team. I'm yeah. at my job. Yeah, and it was sure. just like, "Why are you pressing me?" Yeah. And what you doing? Yeah. Like, usually you don't do this. Yeah, for sure. Now me, me being old head, I'm a, my only advice gonna be for your next relationship, <laughs> start off slow. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, leave a little time when y'all not talking because, like I said, trust me. Once you used to that, you're gonna be used to it. And then it's gonna be it's gonna get played out quick, like yeah, real quick. I ain't even looking for nothing right now. Yeah, wait, and that's ten years or something. You know what I'm saying? Ten, <laughs> ten years. Well, how long it take you? You know what I'm saying? Just you got ease into it, cause I know I know people personally who just I'm like, dog, let let her breathe. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. Let her breathe, cause y'all gotta let each other breathe, man. Don't do no locations no more. 
<laughs> I already know because <laughs> the way he was acting, yeah. there's no way you should be at Hyman Park at three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I got practice. Yeah, for sure. You in college, so it's a whole different thing. <laughs> it's a yeah. whole different ball game. Yeah, yeah, and that, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that, that location thing, and yeah, that's on. Well, you say you was going here, but you was here. Yeah. Like, and I screenshot your location. Don't even try to lie about it. Yeah. Okay, And then man. the location might not update quick enough, so. Uh, why your location lo not found? Where you at? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, I so, ain't got no Wi-Fi. Yeah. So, yeah, in the beginning relationship, you got to think about stuff at the end. So, you're like, all right, I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? I want this to be like this, or you keep a track on everything. Mm -hmm. then you start I be getting, telling it straight up, though. Like, yeah. look. You want to be my my dude. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, I got music. I got a whole new baby. I got yeah. this. I got that. <laughs> don't don't even try to. <laughs> yeah, because once things come be, come be, become routine, you find yourself being crazy enough to check that damn location or whatever every five seconds. Like, all right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and that's how it was. I'm like, that's just so weird at this point. Yeah. Now, on the same track, you was like, when I was young, I swear my, my relationship would last forever. I can relate to that too. I had a little high school girlfriend. I'm like, oh yeah, we gonna go to the same school. <laughs> no, she was gonna go to Michigan State. I was gonna go to Eastern, mm -hmm. and we was gonna everything was gonna last. Uh, that shit didn't work. So, <laughs> and but, my whole my everybody on my team was like, he live he live back at the crib. Yeah. It's not gonna work. Yeah. It's not gonna work. Yeah. October it ain't work. <laughs> yeah, you was in that mode too much. Yeah. I, I had to I had to end it. Yeah, it just got to a point where like, look. It's we not even talking. You went yeah. three days without texting me. Yeah, for sure. It's, you not even my dude no more. Yeah. How long? How long would you cry? Like I ain't mean, cry. I mean, what? Yeah, right. You ain't that tough. I ain't. It was just like, but I, <laughs> I was like Cam looking a little like yeah, okay. <laughs> I did it. Like it was just like, all right. Like yeah. I gotta live my life. I'm yeah. in college. I ain't. I swear to the same day my girls was like, come on, we going to the club. For sure. Heck yeah. Now was he uh trying to get back with you or trying to get you back? Oh, not okay. at all he got oh. a he at the end he damn near cheated on me with a girl yeah. and they together yeah yeah, yeah. happy now, for him but whatever let me ask you this do you still be going on instagram lurking like damn what he doing i hope that nigga doing I, bad i support him like <laughs> i'm not that type of ex to be hating on nobody like yeah. that's not gonna get me nowhere yeah for sure that's a fact he a, a photographer now yeah. and i'll be sending him like events like go here do this you a good person for that I ain't, gotta, I ain't got to hate on nobody. Yeah, like, true. I'm different. I'm like, Man, fuck you. I hope, everything, I hope you fail. I, know. <laughs> I mean, at first it was like that, but it was like, yeah. what am I going to gain? Yeah, for sure. He not paying not one bill of mine. Yeah. Like, it's just no point to hate him. To hate him. For sure, for sure. You're a big person for that. <laughs> now, uh, you got the one song, <laughs> Behind the Lights. You was like, uh, you, you have said something about sex and money is not all I need. Now that's that's important because you a young chick. And I got a daughter, you know what I'm saying? When she get older, hopefully she don't look for that until she's 30. Mm -hmm. But, uh, <laughs> so, you know, you being it's like that. 30, you keep saying 30. 30, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> now, you know, I coach, and mm -hmm. I'll be hearing some of the conversations these girls be having, and I'll be like, come on, man. Like, first, I shouldn't hear these conversations. And second, why y'all even talking about this stuff? Like, y'all talking about stuff that I was only dreaming about at that age. So, like, you saying that's that's not all you need. As far as the relationship and stuff, what 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 um you know what I'm saying get you going besides those two things like communication and trust and yeah. all of that like what really matters yeah for sure I don't I'm I'm not going like I'm gonna be attracted to you yeah, yeah. but what else behind that behind your looks what am I gonna look for like you for need sure. to be funny like yeah. I I ain't gonna be sitting here and just <laughs> yeah for sure yeah. like <laughs> what yeah, make me laugh yeah cause like, them looks just... gonna go so far. And yeah. you're gonna get tired of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cause I definitely you mess cute, with dumb but shit. But, like, you boring. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or you give me somebody who kind of stupid and then you go like, out. Yeah. Like, please don't open your mouth. Please don't get into this conversation. Like, cause you, you know what I'm talking about. Like, nigga, don't say a word. Cause you about to mess me. You about to have me looking crazy. Okay. Up here. Yeah. Don't even look. I'm just going by myself. Yeah. Just stay in the car. I don't need that. Yeah. Now, I think the money part is even big when you say you ain't looking for the money. Cause most chicks, especially young, they be one of them dudes with that with the, with that with that cash, you know what I'm saying? So they ain't, <laughs> they ain't nothing you really like. You press I mean, about. I mean, you don't want no bum. Yeah, like yeah. I got my own money. Yeah, for you sure. need to have your own money. Yeah, we can put our money together and build together. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, how yeah. it's supposed to be. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, so you ain't you ain't out here looking for no thug and just like I just bought me a five hundred dollar dog. I'm yeah. a five thousand dollar dog. Oh, I don't yeah. need your money. That's what's up. I take it. Yeah. I like anything free. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I don't need it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Now, when you talk about your dad, like they don't get, they don't hit no emotional, don't trigger. Not no more. Right, cool, Definitely cool. not. Definitely I, not. Yeah, I, I would have felt bad if you was on here crying. <laughs> so on the song, dear mama, you was like, uh, dad left. He wasn't there. I couldn't understand why he wasn't there. Or why he didn't care. Wait, why he didn't care? Yeah, I messed up. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> so you being young, you was ten, right? I was probably younger than that, but it rhymed. So. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 how did that affect you in the, in, the, in, the, in the long run? Like, a lot of times when girls lose a father at a young age or whatever, they grow up to typically make bad choices in guys they mess with because they're looking for, like, a father figure, in lack of a better word. So how was how did that affect you, like, as far as, like, not having your pops around when he started off being at the crib? Well, starting it off, uh, it affected me bad. Like knowing my dad don't love me and don't want me, that hurt. Yeah, for sure. But like, it got to a point where now yeah. I want him to see like this is what you're missing yeah, what out you miss, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, I don't, I don't care. Yeah. He do his, he whatever he want to do. Mm. Yeah, for sure. But I don't have no, no sympathy towards that man. So you like y'all don't talk at all. We like? don't. He. He randomly pops up like "Happy Birthday," yeah, and <laughs> on the shit that matter, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah. But like, you don't care for real. You yeah. just saying that because you yeah. on Facebook and you want to show show me off. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, look at my girl yeah. singing. Yeah, like <laughs> he randomly popped up at my prom send off. Yeah, taking pictures with everybody else. Yeah, asking to take pictures with me like. I haven't seen you in like four years, dude. Yeah. So did you tell him you should be like shit? Get on. Like, did I you didn't. Tell him, get on. You just like. I talked like straight up. Yeah. You gonna be here? You wanna be here? Be here. Yeah, for sure. Cause this is you ain't pay for none of this. Yeah. I want you to know that. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. So like, did mess you up in the long run once you got older? Like, or you just like you was over it at that point? I'm over it. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> like it is yeah. just like. Do we got kids outside? Yeah, he like once uh, he left, once he you know what I'm saying did his own little he thing. He has uh, I have an older brother. Oh, y'all talk a little bit. Yeah, he be trying to press me to go see him and stuff. But yeah, like, why would I go see him? I mean, do you man. but do you put that like as far as like do you put that because of you know what I'm saying the relationship you and your dad had so you kind of want a relationship with with him or it's like he but the it's weird like I grew up. Like with him, yeah, we was always together. Like that's my brother. Yeah, for sure. But now when he older and they talking, they mm. go to the bars together. They do this together. Mm. They like, oh, Mackenzie, when you turn twenty one, come come to the bar with me and dad. Yeah. And it's getting it's getting weird now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. what you mean? Yeah, you yeah. know I don't talk to him. Yeah, for sure. So it's like, well, maybe he trying to just mend those. You know what I'm saying? But mend it's that like, relationship. I'm I'm a young female. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. To, Talk to a grown man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, it. I get. You, it. He don't want me. Yeah. And if he did, he would have showed that with his child support, with yeah. coming to see me, I, coming yeah. to call my phone. Like I've had the same number since I was ten years old. Oh, my yeah. mom <laughs> had the same number for almost twenty years. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know my, you know my number. Yeah. So is, is, let me ask you: Is there anything that right now you you're twenty and he just he gets to your life? He like, damn, you know, Mackenzie, I messed up. Like, you know what he saying? did. Like, he's he's done it before. But I'm saying like he did oh. it. He like on track like er, for everything. Can't of course he can't make up for those 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 young years that he was gone. But mm -hmm. could y'all build a relationship or whatever? Like you know what I'm saying? If he was if he was consistent. If he was consistent about it, I yeah. let him get a taste of my life. But it's not like I'm a you yeah, missed yeah. out. Like you, I feel like at this point you. You know you don't got to pay child support no more, and you know yeah. I'm getting big. Yeah. So what's your real attention? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause it could be just cause he see you doing your thing, whatever. Yeah. yeah. I'm around that. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Hey, man, don't do something, man. Get it right, man. If you watch <laughs> this, get it right, dog. <laughs> yeah, cause you know. But it, now, do you? How do you feel like? You feel like life would have been different with him. It would have been better, like, cause like I say, I have to say this. A lot of times we be like, oh, if this didn't happen, you know, what I'm saying sometimes you need those things to shape mm -hmm. your life. So with him being there, you might have, you might not even not thinking might not even be in the picture. Like you just never know. Right. So do you feel like things would be different with him around or better or worse? It, or? I think it would be way different. Like yeah. with him being here, I wouldn't have my little little brother Trey. Yeah. So it would be real different. For sure. If he was still in my life. Yeah. Now, now is he with his family? Like he we're not. Is he like a. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, I'm good. Yeah. 
Hey, I'm with you. I'm with I, you, though. I know, like, he did have, like, other relationship. And yeah. he was trying to get, like, when I was little, like, yeah. seven, I went over to their house for, like, one time. And yeah, that was like, oh, I'm good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I just hate, like, because I, I mean, my pops passed away when I was young. So, like, I see people who don't, who got kids and just don't want to, you know, don't mm. take care of your kids. You ain't got to be in a relationship. Like, if him and your mom wasn't, you know what I'm saying, wasn't. And, uh, together, yeah. at least, like, see me. Yeah, yeah I understand. Yeah. Mm hmm. That you were still like some a lot of times dudes and I know I got a cousin like that like when he when he done with the with the lady he done with the kid. No, that's so sad. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, he get it right though. You get it right. <laughs> now, um, with the response, like how how response been with this project? Like people been messing with it, like or it's just your immediate circle or you got like outside people that's been talking about it. I've a lot of people been telling me they like over it. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, 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 for sure. And a lot of I got a lot of second places too. Yeah, second place hard, man. Go ahead, shoot a video for it. Yeah, I wanna, I'm, I'm waiting. I got uh, yeah. uh, two digital. Okay. He about we about to get working okay. for sure. Now, do you? Cause you don't have no video out yet, right? No. Nah, okay. Not yet. I've been traveling. Yeah, for sure. I see you was in Atlanta. Yeah. Like how how that come about? Like. Um, I got family in Atlanta. Okay. And my little uh cousin, she 13. She mm. uh just turned 13 and she was like can you please write her a song she an artist and yeah. i was like of course like yeah. i'll help her out yeah, i went sure. to the studio down there with her she did her stuff mm -hmm. her birthday performed it and everything yeah and it was just like mackenzie stay longer yeah. we can get you a couple shows yeah, yeah okay yeah. that's yeah. just how that went that'd be something you would, you would like to tap into like being a uh, writer for somebody that was it was hard she a 13 year old girl yeah it was hard because you got to tap into her like yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ain't been 13 in a while okay <laughs> if i don't think me writing for anyone else would benefit at yeah. all because i write solely from my life for sure i yeah. can't write i wouldn't i wouldn't be able to write for nobody else yeah 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 now back to the project like so like you, um so it has the response been uh, positive like it been good for sure i have i mean i haven't i feel like people just scared enough to Tell me yeah. like, oh, I don't like this song. You should yeah. do this. I feel like people are just scared to tell me that. But you cool with that? If somebody like, yeah, if someone would tell me like, look, on this, on second place, you should have said this instead of this. I would have taken into consideration. Yeah. Now you, you wrote all his music yourself. I, I wrote most of the music. Mm -hmm. My producer, uh, Andrew, helped me a lot. Yeah, big Drew. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you cool with somebody like if somebody like I got this whole project for you? It's dope, and he write everything for you. You, you, I, you I sing it. Yeah. I'll learn it. For a couple months and sing it mm -hmm. for sure now you, you go by the name ken's short for mckenzie yeah was there any other names you th you thought about no that was it like <laughs> you like everyone calls me ken's like yeah. it will when i was younger i get i used to get called mmp okay because my instagram yeah you didn't want to go by that huh uh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. on the field i got caught ken's every, yeah. on like everywhere so you I just used that name already yeah. so you just go ahead and keep it all right, now y'all, uh, you got you know saying six projects, six song project. You say you about to drop some videos. How soon are you into making a, uh, another project? Right now, I'm doing a cover project. So mm -hmm. all the music that inspired me to make my music, like a mm -hmm. bunch of Give on, a bunch of Her, a bunch of that. Mm -hmm. I'm really that's the next project I want to drop. That's the next drop. So as far as so what what's going on in your life right now that you can write about? Because then you were, you were talking about ten years. You know what I'm saying? My man Chad, who who did you, you know what I'm saying? Did dirty and just like. <laughs> Your mom, your pops, and stuff on Dear Mama. Oh, yeah, go back to that. How your mama uh, feel about that song, Dear Mama? She like, love it. She, she cried it every single day. The first time I ever played for it, she cried. Yeah, both of y'all cried. You cried too, didn't you? I was like, Mom, what'd you cry? What'd you cry <laughs> yeah, about, Mama? Sure. When, I was writing, when I was singing it, or the first time I ever wrote it, and I was singing it for real from my heart, I, mm. I cried, yeah. Yeah. But now I'm like, Mama, what'd you cry for? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so what can you tap into now, like, that you're you going through now? Because you say you write from your personal experiences and all that good stuff. Uh, right now, I'm just working. Mm hmm I want to, I, like I said, like before, I want to tap into some more, like, hype music. Mm -hmm. So probably just living a good life rather yeah. than me getting my heart broken yeah, and yeah, yeah, all yeah. that extra yeah, stuff. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Because I do have a really fun life. Like, yeah. I be traveling. I just, like, I just went to Oregon for a dog. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> I wish I was you. <laughs> we started got paying bills, got family. Hey, live your life. For real. Because when you turn 30. <laughs> you get that it's over. Yeah, once you get, once you get that family, you still have fun. Don't get me wrong. It's just gonna be responsible. Like you gotta be all right. Who gonna keep the kids? Like, yeah, I be having to worry about now. Like oh, if I gotta go to work at five a.m., who gonna keep my yeah boo -boo? for sure for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. You wait on all that good stuff. So you said hype music. Like you ain't gonna be rapping, is you? Like Will you tap like into the my, rap like, for probably like a song. Yeah, yeah. My, yeah. my producer want me to do at least one. Yeah, yeah. I know you got some bars you wrote on that. 
Yeah, like, everybody got a notebook or some bar on the job. <laughs> it's like a bunch of unfinished songs I need to tap into, but yeah. I ain't gonna ask you freestyle, don't worry. Because <laughs> I'll be like, I ain't gonna put that, that, that pressure on you. No, but no, that's, that'd be cool though if you can just do. I mean, of course, you don't wanna just be like, all right, I'm gonna switch from singing and rapping. Like, but if you could just, you know what I'm saying? Dip, yeah. Dibble and dabble on different things, that'd be straight. So, you know, it's, it's a thousand people that wanna do music. For sure. Everybody wanna do music. What's gonna separate you from everybody else? Like, you know what I'm saying? I know it's a the common question, you know what I'm saying? Niggas be like, oh, I'm gonna work hard. Like, <laughs> what's, some, what's something you feel like uh, separates yourself from uh, other people who are doing music? Um, right now, like me talking about my life, mm -hmm. a lot yeah, of people, real. a lot of people, a lot of females right now are just talking about sex and her, oh, yeah, what she fact. can give yeah, yeah. other than her knowledge and what she went through and mm -hmm. all that other stuff. Yeah. I don't talk. I I mean, sometimes I do yeah. behind the lights. I did yeah, yeah, yeah. dip and dabbled into it a yeah, little sure. bit, yeah, but yeah, yeah. other than that, it's just mostly about my life. Yeah. Now let me ask you this question. Cause you young, you know what I'm saying? Like. Me and him, we was about to talk about something before you came on. We do this thing called Before It Power with Shot. When you just talk about random shit. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you know, as a dude, we don't really get intimidated by looking at another dude. Like, damn, that nigga abs. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing that we, <laughs> I'm mad. I ain't got no abs. Like, but with, with, with women, especially now, 2020 been the, the year of uh, COVID and um, fake, fake asses. Cause everybody, every woman, <laughs> that's what you see. COVID, everybody get money, <laughs> fake that asses. That PPV loan, yeah, I'm that, going to Dominican Republic. Yeah. So do you be look like sometimes? Can that uh, kind of be intimidating for you? Are you are you that type of person to see a woman like, damn, like if all eyes on her, like I, I want to see how it is from a, from a woman, you know, what I'm saying aspect. I just be like, well, nah, do you? <laughs> yeah, like I sure. ain't gonna do it, but yeah. do you? If you feel like this gonna make your life better, yeah. Go ahead, yeah. Shawty. You got it. <laughs> Cause women be women that live with, you know, what I'm saying they buy their whole life and then turn thirty and be like, damn, I, I want this ass now. Like, man, come on, you've been living with this all your whole life. Like, just, just stay me, like you were. Me, I just be like, um, why not just go to the gym? Yeah, for sure. That's the hard it's, way though. They want it right now. Yeah, but at the same time, it's not gonna be right now. You still gotta, you gotta. Yeah. It's a work after You gotta do that little What is it like a faha Yeah You don't give me a line <laughs> <laughs> And see I wanna see how these women look When they be grandmas Like how If the ass gonna fall Like look, You know what I'm saying I don't know <laughs> I don't know And that's I can't, I'm anxious It ain't gonna be kids It's yeah, gonna what, go through it I'm anxious <laughs> to see how these people look When we turn 60 though I'm like Duh, What happened to such and such Who had that Damn Her junk didn't drop to her ankles Like Now she got uh, Diabetes legs like, <laughs> Not diabetes legs. <laughs> yeah, man, that's all messed up. Yeah, dude, that's funny. No, I always want to know that because, like, a lot of times, dudes, well, at least they don't be, uh, they don't voice it. Like, I'm envious of this dude because he be, you know what I'm saying? Whenever I do see a dude in the gym and he be like on a movie, I'm like, that nigga's strong. I gotta get in the gym, like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I be telling my wife, like, yeah, I need to I get mean, in the gym. I mean, that's like when you say that, like, I be like, damn, Tiana Taylor really do got some. That's <laughs> oh, a yeah. real good body right there. Yeah, for she, sure. She yeah, she got out. eight me... abs in that boy. Dude. She got eight <laughs> okay. pack in that <laughs> Let me go to the gym real quick. Again, now you say you was in Atlanta. You were just, you know, what I'm saying you went to uh, Oregon to get the dog, whatever. Mm -hmm. You ever thought you need to move from Michigan to, uh, to further your uh, music career? My cousins really, really, really want me to move to Atlanta. Yeah. And I, I do too. Not yeah. right now. Yeah. I'm still working on my income. Yeah, for sure. But <laughs> <laughs> once I get music popping, I'll probably move down there. Now, would you like, you was down there for a little bit. How, how would you like it? Like, was somewhere you think you can relocate? Yeah, of course. Yeah, because I, I ain't been to Atlanta, but I heard just another Detroit almost. you never been to Atlanta? Nope. Nope. No way. No, I never been in Atlanta. No, I, I ain't got that. That's I a, that's a state you gotta you gotta. Yeah. I stayed touch. in the South, but I never been in Atlanta. Like I stay in Texas. I've been to uh, Louisiana, but yeah, I never been in Atlanta though. It's a fun state. It's a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, I heard it is like a little bit Detroit. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, everybody from Detroit just go down there. Yeah. Yeah. Now you you know what I'm saying you young, but do you look at yourself like I need I got an age cap? If I'm not here by here, I'm done. Or you don't even think like that. I always tell myself like I'm but my glow up is gonna be twenty three. Yeah. Twenty two, twenty three. That's my So we yeah. we, we got we got documented as tape. <laughs> she turned twenty three. It's go it's go I tell myself I wanna be at least stable enough for me to be like, Oh, I can just go buy buy something by yeah, for sure. twenty two, twenty three. So so twenty you yeah, it's three years, so you're gonna come back on the show, we're gonna talk about the glow up. i uh, for sure. The blow up and you know, you're gonna have a couple dogs like Oh yeah, she gonna <laughs> I'm, we gonna be breeding her by then. For sure, for sure. Y'all want us uh, imperial teacup shit too? Let me know. Yeah, yeah, in a couple yeah. years. Yeah, I gotta get my money right before I pay forty five hundred though. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a, that's a quite a dollar right there. So, uh, you, you look for a deal or a partnership? Right now, I just I just independent, make money that way. Yeah. Yeah. Right but, now, we just I'm just tapping into other artists like that's kind of my 
my speed mm. and we just making money like not yeah. making money but making songs just like for sure who go who, half on it who your uh who the top people in it who some people from the city that you want to work with eventually like what some what some people you be like damn I want to work with that person you said you'd be listening to Sada and Jenna like but I don't see us on the song yeah. though you can see the hook you can see the hook though you can see the hook like he can have a, a hook down chick but or something he, <laughs> like that's gonna be when I'm 24 cause yeah. he he asking 10,000 for a feature oh yeah for sure um who yeah. got that yeah. right now anybody from the city like even people that we may not know that you want to tap in with and work with um a couple friends that I went to Belleville with okay that's just right now yeah um a couple females i, I can't even think of nobody's name that's so sad damn yeah that's messed up <laughs> this dude come down here <laughs> oh me and uncle over here just uh uncle mean and shit. <laughs> so you uh so you got that so, all right give me some uh some some people who know like no no that we know though that uh, you want to mess with me and crispy d might do a song together who's that i gotta get he i gotta get hip. i'm, I'm old man i gotta get hip to <laughs> that's, the young. Right, that's what he go by Crispy D, <laughs> it's um my friend Devin. He just started music. Okay. Um, my friend Lauren, mm -hmm. she she sing. She don't she don't want to take it seriously, but I'm gonna get her on the song for y'all yeah. cause she she ought to be known a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, who else? What about like Chris Brown, like you, them hers, like you, that was dreams. Or you better damn. My top yeah. is Giveon. Like if okay. I do a song with Giveon, I probably y'all probably not gonna hear a drop from me in two years. Yeah, like, for sure. That's, that's it. That's my dream for sure. Beyonce, yeah, all of them obviously, but like, give yeah, me yeah. on. That's the that's the one right there. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> now the clone line, how did that start? Where the name come from? All that good stuff. It started off as admire my lavish in sophomore year of high school. Okay. I didn't do regular schooling in Belleville. I did New Tech. Okay. And so it's just basically real world like. Act, like activities but real world situations mm -hmm. and that that year was just entrepreneurship yeah that's the first year i knew where i have to be my own boss like yeah. i can't work under buddy oh yeah for, for sure yeah, the yeah. rest of my life like just is dead yeah, yeah it so, is <laughs> <laughs> that shit whack, like, birds. like that's the first year i actually i got a, like a bunch of sales like mm -hmm. and then um after that i went to college and i'm like i don't want it yeah. yeah, lavish just got booming. Like everybody was being lavish. Yeah, for sure. I was like, I don't want to be like everybody else. Yeah, yeah. So, Chronicle is a matter of time. That's okay. what that means. Yeah. So, it's just like, at a matter of time, like, and yeah. it got from the K because of cans, obviously. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. in a matter of time, like, this is where it needs to be. Like, okay. Chronicle is that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> now, uh, you say, uh. What, what you want to accomplish with this brand? Cause I know when we was talking, you know what I'm saying, when we was uh, going back and forth in messages, you were saying like how you kind of want to use it as a merch situation. Yeah, I, at first, because I didn't do music, I wanted to have a clothing brand. Mm -hmm. But like now I wanted to have be my merch because I got it tatted on. Like my logo is tatted on me now. Okay, okay. So like anything y'all wear, Chronicle, yeah. just know it's just my that's, merch. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's more of anything I put out, I, I would wear. Okay. I wouldn't put out anything I wouldn't wear. Yeah. Like, now, if that's an ugly shirt, that's an ugly shirt. Yeah, yeah. Kids is not wearing that. Kids is not. Y'all not even gonna expect to. So put you it tap, on the you tapping in for uh for girls and and, and for girls and, and guys because okay. I do. I'm a tom girl, tomboy. Yeah. Tomboy. I say, yeah. I say, I'm a tom girl. I'm, I'm a tom girl. I guess like like damn that nigga get tom girl. <laughs> Man, that's funny. But so like I dress, I dress. Yeah, it's just yeah, you got everything look. I wear is. Vans. Yeah. If I don't wear Vans, it's probably Crocs. But okay. nine times out of ten, it's Vans and Chronicle. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Now, give me some do's and don'ts of a dude fashion. And we're talking to you. What can he be wearing? What must he be wearing to talk to you? Like he got that on. Like you can't talk to him just off what he got on. I don't <laughs> like when guys come to me with too much like expensive stuff. Yeah. Cause like at that point, like. You got Louis on, you got Gucci on, you <laughs> yeah. got Hermes on. You not, you don't even know how. At that point, you don't know how to dress. You yeah, just buy expensive sure. yeah, stuff to wear. Yeah, for sure. I can, yo, no, you don't look like you love yourself. You look like <laughs> man. You look a goof. You look goofy. Yeah, for sure. Like, you now what's some, now what's some dudes like some the positive stuff like oh he got that on bet. Like, just matching. Yeah. Like just knowing how to dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't for care sure. what you wear because yeah. I wear Vans. I don't wear Jordans and stuff. Yeah. So I, I don't care about expensive stuff. Mm-hmm. Just match. And one thing I know about people who wear Vans, 
Like they be cool with being dirty. Like that's some young stuff or something. Like, <laughs> like you got some dirty vans. Like you gotta be like it's like y'all get the vans, y'all. Most go ahead. people that have vans skate. Yeah. I skateboard. Okay, okay, that's what's up. So it's like I don't really care for it. And they sixty dollars shoes. If yeah, you can't you, buy nothing <laughs> twice, then you did, don't yeah, so buy it once. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, my son, my, my son be trying to get me because I mean, he about to go to high school. He be trying to tell me little things. I'm like, y'all weird. <laughs> like, it's just a different day and age. Like, and then like, we was dying for Jordans. Like, you you never like was one of those people. Like, I got had a Jays, nothing like that. Dang, nothing. That's funny. Not, like my my sister. Yeah. That's not really. She's not really my sister, but I grew up with her. Yeah. Um, her husband mm -hmm. he sells shoes, and he be like, Kings, you need to just. Yeah. Just wear them. Just yeah. wear them. I'll be like, but I got my vans. Yeah, I'm straight. How many like, pair of vans you got? Over like a hundred. <laughs> vans <laughs> needs to sponsor me now. Like. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> if you want to sponsor the show, I'll wear the motherfucker. shit. <laughs> I got one pair. I got some white slides just because I did something like, let me get the white boys real quick. Go nah, do some, go. I have over a hundred pairs of vans. Man, I did. Shit. I wish my son only wore vans. So I have a lot more money in my pocket. <laughs> I think we want LeBron's, Kyrie's, Jordan's. Mm -mm. My brothers. That's my brothers. But yeah. me. My mama like, I'm so happy you just... Heck yeah, heck yeah. I need, yeah, yeah. My daughter got to be like you when she get older. You know what I'm saying? Not too not too major, not, you know what I'm saying? Not over the top. No. No uh, no uh, Gucci loafers on that uh, junk. Yeah. Now, um, what's uh, you as a complete person, like, what you want to accomplish with the, with the music? At the end of the day, like, what's your short-term, long-term goals with the music and the clothing? I just want to be known. Yeah. Known for... Like my music for real. Like known sure. for me putting myself out there. Like I in teen years I put my whole life out there. Yeah. Every real. like almost all my major events is mm. in in that album. Uh huh. I wanna I wanna make money off of music. Like money. Yeah. But it's like I don't I don't really care for the money, but I, you know, like yeah, everyone want to yeah, make yeah, money. Yeah, you you know what I'm saying? Do what you gotta do. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not. Yeah. I want to be able to have like kids and not have them worry. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Not silver spoon. Yeah, yeah, but, but not have to be like, damn, we gonna have lights on her. Yeah. Like we gonna be able to live good. Like you know what I'm saying? Just the the, the things that you you need. Yeah. Ain't gotta worry about struggling. Like damn, we got moved this month. Like I don't know if you had to deal with that, but yeah, we've been we've been some. Yeah, it's been some time <laughs> where like my mama, I come home, my mama like, hold on. Yeah. Just go to your 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 friend house real quick. Oh yeah, for we, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we ain't got no no air, no heat, no nothing yeah. right now. So just you know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hey, now, now, what's since you've been out of high school, what's some things you learn about yourself as far as like these two years? Like, damn, like you know what I'm saying? Like outside of the breakup with Chad, what's some <laughs> things you learned about yourself with <laughs> these two years? Um, I don't know. Like, you still learning? Like you can say, hey, yeah, like, I'm still learning. For sure. Yeah, because this, this is going to be a learning Because you're going to go back and look Like, damn, 20, I was 20 I was out here, you know what I'm saying Van up <laughs> Dogged up Like, you know, it's going to be a whole different life So, yeah, you still got some time, though You still got some time Now, I want to ask you this Because I've been asking girl, I mean, dudes this Can a You went to music Music can tell a lot about somebody You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying Can a dude playlist be a red flag? No, I love people I love when, like, guys play, like, Give on around me Like no, that's that's a positive flag. Yeah, <laughs> that's a blue flag. A red flag, like if I'm, if he just playing too much of a certain music. For example, if I mess with a girl and her playlist is just all old ratchet rap music and she know worth work, I don't think I want to mess with you. No, Cause I feel like you might be for the streets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so can a dude play this? Like if he, if you say give me on, that's that's okay, bet you. Now if you can go. Gucci man to you know what I'm saying this to that. Sada to Giveon all that, yeah. that I like that yeah but if you just playing Detroit music dude all day what yeah you I don't want to listen to this all day I'm a yeah. singer you thought I, you thought that's what but sweet. that could be a red flag within that person because he could be a hood rat that's what yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> for real like, no. a, like, I talk about hood rat chicks that's a hood rat dude I can't bring no hood rat nothing over my mama house yeah yeah for sure so you you gotta have a certain type of image like. Like, like, say your mom might not be used to you talking to this one dude, but he really like, you know, saying you like him and stuff. Like, outside he might look thuggish, but inside he, you know, saying he he'll uh -huh. he tape bear and junk. Like, <laughs> like you gotta bring a, a certain person to your mom. Like, do he gotta no, be a certain? No, my way? mom knows. Like, I'm not like no ratchet female. Mm -hmm. She knows. Like, I know what I need. Yeah, for sure, for sure. 
So it's like she never ever worry about like, oh, mom, I'm going over so and so house. She mm -hmm. be like, oh, just let me see what he look like. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She be telling me like, yeah, he ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, that nigga, hell no, hell no. <laughs> nigga, his, his right eye go over it a little bit and too. And like, <laughs> you know, you know, like how your your parents know yeah. know what's right. Man, yeah, for sure. I remember my mom. I remember one chick I brought over one time, and she was like, what, what, what make you like her? Like, what you mean? Like, she don't look nothing like the other chick you was talking to. Boy, you know who, uh, I put, she don't listen to the show. I remember I was talking to her, man, my mom was like, what, what make you talk to her? I'm like, I'm like she, she was cool. Man, she ain't gonna watch this show. But she, she do then, whatever, though. My mom was talking about you. But, yeah, I brought her over. She, she kind of, like, was clowning me. Like, I'm like, damn, mom. I'm like, we ain't even, we just cool. Yeah, like. Cause you're like I hope that ain't a lot of not even a lot. But I don't I don't take I don't bring a lot of dudes to my mama. Mm -hmm. But like the one dude, she was like, nah. Yeah. It was just straight up like, no. Now when you did you now did you take her advice like or it took you a while to be like, no, nah, I'm good. I yeah. mean we, me and the guy friends, but yeah. it's like, look, I told her straight up, my mama don't like you, yeah. and if my mama don't like you. I don't like you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> See, I was always that good person that everybody mama liked. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was that good mama liker. <laughs> now, social media. With this young day age, social media is a new way to get into relationships. Yeah, don't slide in my DMs, dog. Okay, yo, yeah, yo, don't slide to her DMs. I was about to say, like, is that, now, what if you, you might be missing? I like meeting people, like, uh, per, in, in person, like, yeah. I like doing that. Yeah, because with, with the young generation, y'all don't know how to talk. Like, it should be all text. Like, I be wondering, can y'all hold a conversation with? I like, don't text. Yeah. I FaceTime. I mm -hmm. have an iPhone for a reason. If I yeah. like texting, I would have got a droid. Now, now, FaceTime, man, do you pick up the phone and just call or just got to be FaceTime? I, call, I mean, if the FaceTime don't work, you know how black yeah. people be like, I'm going to just regular call you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's what happened. Yeah, because see, I don't like, I coach. So all my kids, I coach girls and boys, all my kids be having my number. So they try to FaceTime. I'm like, man, y'all know I'm not about to be FaceTiming you kids. Especially it was a group of girls. I'm like, come on, dog. Like, uh, no. I'm not talking to y'all. First, it looked weird because y'all got down middle school girls. I'm trying to see what I'm doing. Just send me a text. Hey, coach, how you been? That's it. Don't FaceTime me because I'm not answering. No, that's weird. Yeah, I'm not answering. I'm not. I'm <laughs> I'd not. be like, um. Yeah. If you would have told me, like, yeah, all my kids FaceTime me, I'd be like, mm. Yeah, because I, I remember I you went to practice. I went to practice. Like, listen, man. Hey, don't. I told all everybody, girls and boys, don't ever, ever, ever FaceTime me. I'm never, I don't even like FaceTiming people I'm cool with. Uh -huh. So I'm damn sure I ain't about to FaceTime no kids because first it's going to be weird. And second, I ain't got nothing to talk to y'all about. If y'all want to see how I'm doing, I check on all my kids. I text them like everything good, school good, mm -hmm. life good, parents good. Okay, cool. Y'all hooping? Y'all working out? Y'all want to go train? I needed a coach like you. My that's, coach ain't do none of that. That's the, yeah, that's the only conversation we have. Like, like uh, this girl named Miracle, shout out to Miracle. She just went to college. Uh, my my little homie Hollywood, like I work out with them. Mm -hmm. So if they want to work out, we can talk all day. Like I check and see if their parents good. But any other conversation, nah. <laughs> Especially these dudes are not. These dudes some perverts too now. So <laughs> the wrong thing you be on Channel Two News. Like, right. <laughs> for real. I don't want to go to jail for nothing like that. So all right, let I'll get this random question. When the last time you cried, and what and what was the reason? When you got the dog, you cried. Or? I didn't cry when I got her, yeah. but oh, on a plane, <laughs> she was on the plane. We had this real mean, just what is they call it? The plane stewardess. No, flight attendant. Flight attendant. Okay. He was just like, "Yeah, you need to put her under the under the seat. You can't yeah. hold her." I'm like, "She's not even 12 weeks. This is her 12 week today. Yeah. She she needs to be held. She's trembling." He was like, "I don't care. Okay. Put her under." Yeah. I was like, "What you mean?" And so I put her under. She's crying. I'm yeah. like, "Oh my god." Oh my god! So you start crying? Yeah. That's the last time you cry. <laughs> and, you know, now I, this is gonna be funny because have you ever seen a show called Making a Band? No. Damn. I don't watch TV though. All right. Well, Making a Band was a show back in the day <laughs> with Diddy. He did a show called Making a Band. So what he do is it was a hundred, two hundred, thousands of people tried out for the show, mm -hmm. and he narrowed it down to five people, and that was his band. They had band, they had rappers, singers. That was, that, was, that was the band, and they mm -hmm. made an album. So I'm asking you that. I'm saying that to say this. If you had a band, one album, including yourself and four others, who would it be? Industry people. Oh, I don't know. It could be producers. It could be rappers, singers. I just I want to work with Give Me On, you. Yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> Give Me On, that's my go-to. Yeah. You got three like, more people. Three more people make this band. Um... Whoever made Give Yon Beats, okay, I good. need him. All right, bet. So you got him on the production side. Two uh, more. I need Tiana Taylor, bet. and I take uh, King Combs. Okay, okay, bet. Yeah, that's a good little, yeah, good little young group and junk. 
Uh, uh, we gotta find out. Uh, uh, give me our producer name. For real. <laughs> so we can get with whoever that. got it. Send them my way. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> now we get to to the end. We always do some little, you know, saying random questions. But you the first person I'm about to do this to because you're younger. I'm older. Okay. So it's called past versus present. You you give me which one you choosing. I give you um, two names. All right. Close in the early 2000s or close now. Close now. All right. Why? Cause like we we were baggy and stuff then like. No, nah, like, I just close now. Yeah. I can get a T-shirt for two dollars and it. Be oh yeah, sweet. for sure. Yeah, this is this five dollars right yeah. now from five it's below. Just like, like real, it's real cheap, but it's yeah. real sweet. For sure. That's and a I fact. like the way I got so many vans. I got vans to match anything. Mm hmm. So, whatever, whatever. Yeah, for sure. Lil Wayne or Lil Baby. Lil Wayne. Oh yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you, you're a good person for that. You're a good person for that. Nineties <laughs> music or uh, music today. Nineties. All right, old Kanye or new Kanye. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have, I don't know. I like older Kanye. Okay. Right now he being a little weird. Yeah, his CDs came in. So far I listened to it. It came out today like, duh, like. That's why you gotta respect Jay Z because he can still make good albums and junk. All right, uh, Usher or Chris Brown. Chris Brown. All right, all right. Boo for that. Uh, <laughs> Brandy or her? Brandy, for right. sure. Yeah. Kid years or your uh, somewhat adult years? Huh? <laughs> your, kid, your kid years or your or, 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 oh, or today? Oh, my kid years. I'll yeah. be a kid again for sure. Okay. All right, all right. <laughs> that, that, that the last one. Uh, Give me a or it's like no, I know you say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I can't I can't go to my go-to Usually I ended off On a drum moment Or a hot moment I hope you ain't did Neither one So I'm not gonna ask you it. If you do Just plead the fifth <laughs> So I'm gonna give you A top three I mean I'll give you A category You give me your top three Alright Your top three Childhood crushes King Combs Okay Uh, For the longest It was Jaden Smith Okay And then uh, Kid crushes Kid uh, crushes no, no, no. Oh, no, no. That? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, oh. I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, so King Kong's got the little ditty out here with the waves, John. They could be way be knocking. <laughs> and he my Jay, age, yeah. and he's single now. Yeah, Jane Smith. Just to let it know. Who that, who that number three do? I don't dude? know. Gibeon? But I, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Gibeon short. We got to tag him in. We got to tag him in. <laughs> hey, man, ain't no wrong. I'm 5'8". But eight. I need some, I need some tall. I like tall dude okay that's what's up that's what's up my tallest i mean yeah my shortest is like six two yeah damn you you yeah, they tall that's all that's what's up all right well i'll give you two on that one all right give me your top three foods Ooh, i love food so much i like tacos pizza and my mama's macaroni oh so that's three it gotta be my mama's hold macaroni. on hold on hold on hold on <laughs> with the macaroni it's gonna tell me a lot about you do you want it creamy or you want it stiff Mama, it's, it's never, like, creamy or I, stiff. It's, like, 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 I don't need I that like, macaroni when you it just fall down, like, no. like, 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 like ramen noodles or something. Like. No, that's, like, Velveeta yeah. in a cup. <laughs> okay, no. okay, 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 you're a good person. You're a good person. <laughs> now, uh, give me your top three movies. Since um, I like The Sound of Music. It's really, really old. It's an opera. Okay. Um, no, it's not an opera. I don't know, but I like The Sound of Music. <laughs> yeah. Uh... I don't really watch movies either. You watch movies. Back in the old day. You give me some Cinderella or something. <laughs> <laughs> um It could be cartoon movies, whatever. Dog, I don't watch movies though. Man, that's trash. I mean I like Marvel movies. I don't yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I I just got to it. I I did too. Yeah. All right, <laughs> um, which ones? Uh Black Panther, what? Like rest in peace to chat with Bozeman. For sure. His, uh, but anniversaries yesterday. Yeah, I mean, I like Black Panther. Okay. I, I don't have, like, a top three. I don't want, like, all right, TV, all right. music. I you mean, TV, it. movies. Right, I really a, don't you got to give you top three artists. I know you got that. Give me our, yeah, of course. Kaylani and Tiana Taylor. All right, give me your top three moments in life so far. So far, um, my top one was the trip I just took to uh, Dominican Republic. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's the up. The second one was obviously getting her. Okay. And then just high school. Okay. Top three non-alcoholic beverage. Non -alcoholic. I drink water. You no know Kool-Aid. Uh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> when it's there, but like yeah, yeah. everyone know. Yeah, you give just me a water. water. Man, yeah. they, you, you just like the perfect person. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see. Do I got? Oh, top three clothing brands. 
Vans, yeah. Chronicle, mm -hmm. and I take like mm, clothing brands. I don't really shop clothing brands. I like yeah. Rainbow and okay, yeah, the stores like Walmart. Oh uh, yeah, Walmart, no, Walmart t-shirts. If you can find one, cause sometimes you be leaving the mugs all over the place, bro. Yeah, like you gotta go to a white, the right Walmart, Walmart tees. Yeah, the white, <laughs> I said the white Walmart. <laughs> Yeah, you do, cause we go to the hood, Walmart, bro. They still like, everywhere. Dog, them shirts is all over the place. You can't find it. So yeah, Walmart, Target got the good classic shirts. Then five below, get you. You find Together. some good ones. Yeah. Okay. Find some good little five dollar tees. Zoomies. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They a little bit more expensive, man. Yeah, they like yeah, 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 thirty dollars yeah, yeah. a tee, but they yeah. be sweet tees. Yeah, you buy one, get the other one half off, and just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been there. <laughs> That's only when I'm balling. I go there, John. So uh, get the people where they can find your music, where they can find you, all that good stuff. Me, you can on my Instagram is Mackenzie K M E K E N Z I K underscore. It's a whole link. It's Chronicle Co. You can find on that. Mm -hmm. I got a blog page. You okay. can find everything. What I do, my YouTube. Well, I didn't start my YouTube yet, but when okay. I do start YouTube, what's you YouTube gonna be like? Is it your, your day in your life or like? Yeah. Just following you and stuff. That's what's Mostly up. because I do, like I said, I do a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you could have got the Oregon trip, <laughs> the Atlanta trip. You could have done all that I just go, stuff. I've been Dominican to the Dominican Republic. Republic. Yeah. I've been to Jamaica. I've been everywhere. Yeah, so yeah. Stay stay young. Stay single. Stay free. <laughs> you can do all that good stuff. <laughs> For real. So it, we always end off on some, you know what I'm saying, uh, positive words. What's some positive words you want to give to people? Like, don't drink and drive. You know, stuff like that. Mm. What's, some, what's some words you want to give to the young the young? Kids out there who looking to you know my, be somebody. My she, favorite quote I have it tatted on me is uh, "Never stop being a good person because of bad people." Okay, yeah, that's For a good sure. one. That's a good one. Hell yeah! And you show that with your with Chad. He did some bull crap. You still bigging him up. Yeah, you know what I mean like <laughs> karma. Yeah, for karma. sure. No, that's it a fact. goes good and it goes bad. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, I ain't got no, uh, I ain't got nothing deep today, man. I will say some funny jump. I couldn't think of nothing funny. <laughs> so my junk is this shit. Keep living. Hey, oh yeah, stay uh kid free and relationship free till you thirty. Get you a dog. Yeah, yeah. Get a dog if you can afford it, cause that shit. You, know, you might want to get you a misbreed for the for, for twenty dollars from a crate down the street. <laughs> or if you ball, you can go ahead. You know, say go to Oregon, but you know, <laughs> hey, I gotta stick with the uh, misbreed. Pit bulls, you know we get pit bulls, blue nose, red. I said blue nose, red nose. <laughs> but no, uh, it was. I appreciate you being on. Of course. I can already tell you. You know, what I'm saying you young, you got good energy. I can, I can see some good things for you. Cause we had young people on here and they were just like not answering no questions. But you know, it's all good. That's boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We both of them are like, what time is it? <laughs> We gotta get the hell out of here, though. Cause I was gonna clown uh, your cousin. I'm like, if she trash, I'm clowning you. Like, but you know, your music dope. You dope. Like, I ain't just saying that. So yeah, just keep it going, keep it moving. And like I said, thank don't be, you, don't, be uh, don't be, don't be, don't uh, be, don't be a person who can't take criticism. Cause that I was the type of person when I was doing my music and stuff, and like that shit, I mess you up. So. Yeah. And don't sure, take, and don't, like, and don't take no time off with this music. If you're gonna do it, do it. Like, go all oh, the way I'm through. I'm gonna do it. it. Yeah. Y'all gonna see? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna drop some. Some videos for y'all. For sure. And I'm gonna do some covers on my Instagram and my TikTok. My oh, TikTok yeah. is the same on Instagram. Yeah, see, I'm too old for TikTok. Like, I just feel like if I was, on, if I got we TikTok, gonna get, we gonna get Lulu via TikTok yeah. too. So oh, yeah, follow for her. Sure. My girl, sure. everybody else does got uh, Instagram pages. Right. And stuff. Why can't I make her one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I tell you, next time, y'all, shoppers, everybody got the homie kids in here. Deuce.